Bonjour, together we are going to learn one of the most important French verbs, avoir, to have, and we are going to practice it together in French sentences. Right, I've said it before, guys. To be and to have are the most important French verbs you could have because they are known as auxiliaries. So what I would like to do is for you to know them by heart in their present tense. We've done être. Let's have a look at avoir today. Avoir means to have. So I want you to learn how to say I have, you have, he has, and so on. The way we do that is like this. Répétez après moi. J'ai, and that means I have. Répétez, j'ai. Tu as, you have. Tu as. Il a, he has. Il a. Elle a, she has. Elle a. On a, one has or we have. On a. Nous avons, we have. Répétez, nous avons. Vous avez, you have. Vous avez. Ils ont, they have. Elles ont. They have. Now, if you do not know why we have two ways of saying you, two ways of saying we, two ways of saying that, please refer back to my subject pronoun video. Everything is explained in it. Okay? Now, remember that we have to do the liaison between uh, the subject pronoun and the verb. So, il ont sounds like that because il ends with an S and on begins with a vowel. Vous avez, same here. Nous avons, and so on. Repeat once more after me and then we practice with sentences j'ai tu as il a elle a on a nous avons vous avez ils ont elles ont okay well done here now what i would like to do with you and this is the best way to learn is for you to have a look at this verb in context okay so let's have a look at our sentences here now in order to help you to start with for the first five sentences you have a look at the list so you've got the list available on the screen here so j'ai tu as il a the next five sentences, I will remove that. So you will have to think by yourself, okay? And it becomes harder for especially people out there who are not quite beginners and would like to practice a bit more as an intermediate level. So here we go. Mon frère, and then we want to put the uh, auxiliary to have in here. Un vélo rouge. Right, what we need to identify here is what is the subject. Now, I can identify that the subject is mon frère. Mon frère. If you don't know already, it is my brother. Now, my brother, what should come after that? So, we want to say my brother has. My brother has. What does he have? Un vélo rouge. A red bicycle. So, how do you say has? Mon frère has. How do you do that? Have a look at the list. And the most difficult part here is to identify what is the subject and if you replaced it by a subject pronoun, what would it be? Would it be je? Would it be tu? Would it be nous, vous, il, elle? What would it be? Well, if you were to replace my brother has, it would be he has. Same in French. So, il, mon frère is il. And what comes after il when conjugating to have in the present tense is a. Il a, he has. Mon frère a un vélo rouge. Okay? So, let's carry on. Numéro 2. Alex et Nathalie, something, beaucoup d'amis. So, what is in the gap? What comes in a gap now? Have a look at the list again. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Well, I should make a song out of that. Alex et Nathalie. Identify the subject. What is Alex and Nathalie replaced by a subject pronoun? Is it je? It's not I. No, I'm not in it. Is it tu? Well, no, we're talking about two different people here. 
that have nothing to do with je or tu here. Is it nous? We oui, I'm not in it either. So, is it vous? No. It is they. Okay, so we bless Alex and Natalie should be they. And it should either be il or elle. Okay, in this case, Alex could be a girl or a boy, I'm not sure. So, it's il. Okay, when you're not sure of the subject here, I'm going to put il. Now, remember that we say they. Il and elle. Il refers to a group of boys, okay? Elle refers to a group of girls. But when it's mixed, it is il. Because grammatically speaking, listen to me very carefully. Grammatically speaking only, the men are always stronger. Anyway, Alex et Nathalie, so il. What is they have? They have. Uh -huh. Ils ont. Très bien. Ils ont. But here you don't need to do le, the liaison, okay? Because Nathalie ends with an E here, okay? So Alex and Nathalie ont beaucoup d'amis, a lot of friends. That's all the friends of Alex and Nathalie, just three of them. <laughs> okay, so numéro 3. Nous, something, trois chiens et deux chats. Okay, nous, something, Trois chiens et deux chats. Now, trois et deux. Okay? So, chien is a dog and a chat is a cat. Okay? Meow. And the dog is a... Well, that's my dog. That's my dog. Okay. So, trois chiens et deux chats. So, we want to say something have three cats, three dogs and two cats. Now, nous, it's an indicator now, if you look at your uh, list underneath, you're going to know exactly what it is. It is nous avons. With nous comme avons. Nous avons trois chiens et deux chats. We have three dogs and two cats. Quite simply. Okay? Now, numéro quatre. Tu. Now, this one is slightly harder to understand, maybe, or not. But the indicator is here. So matter what, no matter what it is, you've got the list underneath here. With two comes always, have a look. Ah, well done. But the sentence, what does it mean? Tu n'as pas de frère ni de sœur. Okay. Now the fact that there is a ne here and the fact that there is a pas afterwards indicates a negation. Okay. Why do I hear is there an apostrophe? That's because... A begins with a vowel, and it should be ne and e, but it's not. So we make it sound better. Instead of tu ne as pas, we say tu n'as pas. Sounds better, okay? So what is it that you don't have? Pas de. Always comes together when you name something. Je n'ai pas de confiture. I don't have jam. Je n'ai pas de frère. I do not have any brothers, okay? It's here. Have a look at the top here. Frère, brother. Ni de sœur. So neither do I have brother nor do I have sister. So ni means neither or nor. Okay? So tu n'as pas de frère ni de sœur. Now the next one again, there is an indicator. Easy. Okay. Mal à la tête. So have a look at the list again. What should it be? That's right. J'ai. I have. Now, when you talk about having a headache or having a toothache or having any aches at all, you always start by mal. Okay, so j'ai mal à la tête. I have a headache. So that's me having a headache. Oh, oh my head hurts. My head hurts. J'ai mal à la tête. J'ai mal à la dent. J'ai mal à la gorge. J'ai mal à la main. D'accord? J'ai mal aux yeux, j'ai mal à la bouche, and so on. Okay, so we've done some practice with the first five sentences. Now, here we go. Ding! I remove what was very much needed to you, because I would like you to do it by yourself now. Listen to the next one. Fred et toi, and then something de la chance. Okay. You don't have uh, the chart, the, the list uh, underneath this video anymore. So what do you think? Fred et toi, something de la chance. Now remember, j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Okay, that should become a habit. Now Fred et toi, if we replace this by a pronoun, 
Fred and you. So it has you in it. It's not tu because I am not on my own. And we use tu only for someone you know very well and someone alone. Okay. The next way of saying you is vous. Okay. So it is going to be vous, most definitely. Okay. Vous. But what comes with vous when you conjugate avoir? Vous avez. Okay. Vous avez. Did you, did you get that? Okay, it's okay. I mean, I've just, uh, I've been mean. I've just removed this thing and now. Vous avez. So, Fred et toi avez de la chance. So, Fred and you have luck or are lucky or have a lot of luck. Okay, chance is luck. Okay, super. Numéro 7. On something, un projet de voyage pour cet été. Now, a project is a project, okay? Voyage is a traveling, okay? Travel, so a project of traveling for this summer, okay? So for this summer, we have a project of traveling. Now, what comes after on? On means we, it means one, it means one as well, okay? So on, what comes after on? J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on, on a. Because on is always conjugated the same way as il and elle. So as long as you know that, or as long as you know one of them, you will know how to conjugate il, elle, or on. Okay? So on a, we have or one has, un projet de voyage pour cet été. Numéro 8. Les élèves de bonne note. Now, there's lots of happening in this sentence, believe it or not. Uh, les élèves, indicators here, les it's the, but it's plural. So we are talking about a group of something, plural, okay? Les élèves. So even if we didn't know what that meant, les élèves, we could actually work out that gap here. Because we could work out that if it's the something, let's say the pupils. Oh, no, I said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> It means pupils. I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's say the tables. Uh, that spoils the effect now. Okay, les élèves, the pupils. Okay, what would you replace it by in terms of subject pronoun? Je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. Well, indeed, it would be they, wouldn't it? They, you're talking about a group of something, yeah? They. So it will be here in this case, il. Okay. Il. I can't believe I've said that. I can't believe that. The pupils, okay? Il. So what comes after il? Il. We want to say they have, yeah? Il. Ils ont. Ils ont. Très bien. Les élèves ont de bonnes notes. By the way, in this case, <coughs> I know you're going to think, well, how come she didn't make the liaison? Les élèves ont uh, de bonnes notes doesn't work. Okay, and I'm not sure why, but probably because élève has three syllables, has two syllables. I think it comes from that, but then again, I don't know. So I'm going to go back and do some research on that. And uh, you might see a little note here or somewhere, but I don't know. Anyway, les élèves ont de bonnes notes. Okay, have a look at numéro 9. Mon père et moi, les mêmes yeux. Okay, what I can see in this one is moi is me, and I'm included into, because it has a, I'm included into that subject, okay? So it's someone and me. So what subject pronoun is going to be here? Je, it's not je, uh, no, je, because I'm included into with someone. So tu, no, il, mm -mm. it's not just mon père, elle, on, mm -mm. nous, oui, 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 oui. It is nous, absolutely nous. Okay, because it is my father and I. Okay, so it's we. So whatever comes here afterwards has to agree with nous. So nous, and then what would it be? J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous, nous avons, nous avons. Okay, obviously we don't do the z sound. Mon père et moi. Avons, okay, we have les mêmes yeux, the same eyes we have, okay? And then the last one, there is an indicator. Quickly, quickly, if you know how to do your verb here, tu as. 
quite simply. You have. So you have what? L'air content. Now, when you, you, it's an expression. When you say, tu as l'air content, you seem happy. You have a happy air about you. Okay? Tu as l'air triste. You seem sad. Tu as l'air fatigué. You seem tired. Tu as l'air. So, avoir l'air is the expression we want. So, tu as l'air content. Now, how was this for you? Did that work? <laughs> Because that was really hard, I thought. Okay, that's it for me. You want the support guide for this lesson? Well, become a member of my YouTube channel. That's how you get the support guide. Subscribe to me, please, please, and leave a comment. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous. Salut.